What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we are going to be taking a look at center backs, how to train them, the key stats, the key skills to have and how to build a very compact center back partnership. Whether it's a three at the back or a five at the back or a two man center back partnership duo. So we're going to be showing you everything and a complete build on it. Let's get straight into it and I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> All right, so let's get into it. Now, straight off the bat, lads, I will say, this isn't, there's a couple of clips, but this isn't a real gameplay heavy defensive tutorial, right? If you want to check that out, I've already done one in game, how to stop conceding silly goals, how to be a monster defender, tips and tricks, everything like that, right? I've already done that. It's on the screen there now. This is for off the pitch, right? Tactically, formations, how to train your players up, skills, stats, how to get the best out of your players and how to partner each other in the center backs, how to have the best duos or trios defensively to make you very compact, right? We're also going to look at two systems. The first one is the three slash five at the back, right? So you're defending with the five at the back, you're attacking with the three at the back. You've got your wide options, one attacking fullback, one defensive fullback, right? But the same rules apply for the three at the back or the five at the back as they do for each other, right? The four at the back is going to be a flat four at the back. We'll have a look at that in a second, right? But this three at the back is essentially going to follow the same rules as the five at the back. As I've already said, right, you are going to be training up your three, mid, three center backs in a bank of three, and they're going to be able to cover each other's weaknesses and get the best out of each other to cover every attack and threat that you will come up against from your rank, you know, division five onwards, when people actually start to put a couple of nice passages of, of play together. And all you want to do with the five at the back or the three at the back is to isolate and, you know, compress your opponent, right? So with this, we are going to want to have three fairly nice defenders that we're able to build our squad around, okay? Now, obviously, the higher rated players that you have, the legends, the epics, the guys you're seeing on the pitch here or the, on the screen at the moment, if you can get those guys on the pitch, they're obviously going to do a lot of work for you because their stats are going to be massively into the 90s, okay? But essentially what you're looking at, depending on where you are with your eFootball journey, you're going to want a hybrid defender, a main defender, and a speed defender. Hybrid defender is going to be high defensive awareness and tackling, good pace, good passing, everything, good player, like a really good player, a really good center back with pace and power and all-rounder, okay? Tommy Yasu, Maldini, Varane, Saliba, Marquinhos. We're also going to have our main defender, so max defensive skills and awareness, and also quite tall to be able to be an aerial stopper, Van Dijk, Nesta, De Ligt, Pepe, any of those boys will do the job for you. Then you have your speed defender, which I call the mop-up man, groundskeeper Willie, right? The janitor at the back. High, aggress high aggression, acceleration, jumping, speed and tackling, and basically looking for a kind of a Koundé type player, right? Or Timber or Rinaldo or any of those guys that are able to do multiple roles that you're going to be defending with a lot manually and you're going to be very, very, very aggressive, okay? So that's in your bank of three at the back, which is, can be used for a three at the back or five at the back. For a four at the back, we're essentially going to be using either a meta style or a flat four, okay? So you're going to be using a lot of attack with the meta style, which is a lot of pressure and a lot of attack um, to get the ball, get your opponent on the back foot. Or else you're going to be using a flat four at the back with defensive AI pressure, where you're going to be doing a lot of zonal defense. I've covered that in my defensive tutorial as well on the sticks and how to actually employ this in game. So these go hand in hand. But what you're going to want with the four at the back is to simply shove one of your center backs from the tree at the back into a right back position and either make him a center back or else shove him a little bit wider for a right back position, okay? The positions don't really matter once you have your system for formation set up, right? Your system and your tactics formational uh, situation set up, okay? And as you see here with a flat four, we're going to have Kunde just shoved over because he's the pace your option, okay? So when we are training players, right, a lot of people ask me, when we are training players, what type of players do you train? And these same rules apply no matter what formation that you're using, okay? So if it's a three at the back or a five at the back or a four at the back, you will want one of your main defenders, such as I said, your all-rounder, with these stats and skills. So high defensive stats, good mobility, but not as fast as the likes of Kunde, not as aggressive as Kunde, but to have all the player skills that you see shared here. So blocker, interception, we'll get to that in a second at the end of the video. That's not to worry, we'll get to that in a second here. But I will have a bit more advice on the player skills and stuff, right? But you will see here with Kunde, who is our speed kind of mobility center back, we're going to have all the player skills by default anyway. He's a fantastic player. But you could also have the likes of Wambasaka, who is not a center back, but he's a defensive fullback. So you could kind of use that 
in the system that you're using. Now, this applies for the likes of Demichelis or any of these slow center backs, right? I know Demichelis has 72 acceleration. He's probably not the best option, but a lot of people got this guy for free. He doesn't have a massive amount of player skills, but his player ID and his positioning really make him actually viable to use at the back. But you can use anyone here. Obviously, if you have, you know, top class players, like really, really top class players, this will get easier because you'll be able to hit so many high points, such as when you have Nesta or Maldini or any of those guys, you'll be able to boost them up a lot. But essentially what you're going to be looking for here is to get the defensive stats as best as you can. This is like no more apparent than it is with Van Dijk. He's pretty much maxing out everything that you want to make my point for me here, apart from the aggression. So when we have this back four or the back three, we are essentially going to have somebody that can tackle a target man. We're going to have somebody that can tackle a speedster such as Mbappe or Romario. And we're also going to have our all-rounder Marquinhos who can tackle anything that comes at him. So that is kind of where you want to isolate the play and then leave Davies in a kind of a Roman, um, you know, role basically right where you're defending with three at all times and then getting back with Declan Rice or whoever you have as your DMF okay even with Davies here and Koundé there's going to be one attack and one defensive right that's what a lot of people get kind of bugged down with a lot of the times and they make it over complicated you're going to concede goals there's nothing that you can do to not concede goals right if you play 10 at the back and five goalies just with the way the gameplay is but what you're going to want to be doing here, I'm just showing you on screen, is to kind of mop up with Kunde. He's going to be your versatile, speedy kind of guy and leave Marquinhos with those high defensive stats and Van Dijk with those high defensive stats to kind of let the AI kind of position them and then flick onto them when you need to win the ball back. So one question I get asked literally every 10 minutes on stream by people coming in is what are the best player skills to train up on a defender and to actually target when you're looking for a new defender, right? So I would say that these are my rankings, okay? Now, there's a couple of little bit of controversial bits in here because I have included heading, which essentially isn't really a defensive player skill. And I've also left off, left off fighting spirit, which again, doesn't really come into defensive skills, but you could put it in there. Blocker for me and interception are actually animation driven since the transition to eFootball 2024. That is in the patch notes. They've rolled back on it a little bit now, but any player with blocker or interception, you will just notice that they will intercept and block balls more than anybody else, okay? You can still win a ball with Pedri or Messi, but it does help when you have for consistency when you're coming up against guys that know how to angle their passes and actually pass through, you know, the crap that happens. Aerial superiority and acrobatic clearance, they're very kind of like um, self-explanatory, so to speak. Man marking and slide tackling are probably less important, right? There's a lot of contextual stuff with that. But I would say that if you are looking to have a centre-back partnership, either a four at the back or a three or five at the back, you definitely need the top five player skills here. And then the rest of the stats as follows, as I said earlier on in the video. So that is it for me. If you guys have any other questions, you probably find them answered in the other defensive tutorial that I did on the sticks or in the pitch. And that is it for setting up your team. Any other questions, I'm going to be continuing on this series. Next up is going to be CMF and DMF partnerships. Whether you go for a you know a tree in midfield or a two-man pivot, let me know what you guys think. Any feedback on this video will be appreciated. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe. Peace.